This will be a video showing how you can use your Miltronics 9000 series control to program a pocket conversationally. The first thing you're going to want to do is hit F8 program, F2 conversational, F2 new. You can name your program using either letters or numbers. We'll just call this one pocket. Hit enter. Now on your first event of your program you can retype your name if you want to, it's not required. You can program an inch or metric and you also have solid model stock graphics. So here is what, how you define your solid model. We're going to use a 4x4 four four block that's 2 inches thick. X0, Y0 will be the center. So your X minimum will be negative 2, your Y minimum will be negative 2, and your Z minimum will be the top which will be 0, and your max will be 2, and your Y max will be 2, and your Z max will be negative 2. Select your work coordinate, G54 through G59, we'll use G54. And if you want to type any notes for your operator, you can do so in this space here. Hit F1 store, and we're going to want to call up a tool change, F5. For this example, we use tool number one. Tool descriptions are not required. You can type in the description if you want to. Next tool number, if you want to stage your tool changer pot to cut down on cycle time on a tool change, you can do so here. Just put the number of the next tool that's going to run. We'll say your next tool running is tool number two. If you want to stop command, either program or optional, you can select that. And choose a spindle speed. Now spindle direction and a coolant. If your machine has an auger, select it there and if you would like to change your work coordinate there's also an opportunity to do it. Hit F1 store, F2 mill, F5 pocket. Now you're going to have a few choices, your circle pocket, rectangular pocket, polygon, slots, or facing. We'll choose rectangular pocket and you have a clear or finish option. Clear starts in the middle and spirals out finish plunges in the middle and just mills the outer profile. We'll choose clear, Z pierce feed rate, return point of either clearance or your initial Z move, we'll choose clearance and set that to point one. Your Z down method, you can either plunge or you can ramp. If you ramp, you have to give it a ramping angle, we'll say 15 degrees. The final Z depth, one inch, first Z depth, half inch, each depth increment, half inch again, XY feed rate, 35, pocket center, here on the left it gives you a little illustration of what it's requiring, so the center of our pocket is going to be X0, Y0, now the pocket dimension, X, 3.75, and Y, 2.5 with a corner radius of 625. Cut width, quarter inch. X and Y finish stock if you want to leave any material on the walls to come back with the finishing operation. You can do that here. Your cut direction, it defaults to counterclockwise climb cutting if you'd like to change it. You can select clockwise conventional. And if you want to shut your cutter comp off, you can also do that there. Hit F1 store, hit escape, and escape one more time, and hit preview. And now you're going to see your tool path for your pocket. Hit F4 auto to auto focus it, and F1 is rotate. You can choose your different views of XY, isometric. Hit escape again and you can zoom in or out. Now if we hit escape back all the way to our main page up in our status bar we can verify, menu, select our program which is pocket. Now as you can see we're verifying and there's our toolpath again. But now if we hit F6 display, 
and F11 solid. You have the solid model graphics are now active. And you also have a few different modes if you click on F10, semi-transparent, a wireframe, solid model with your tool path. Hit escape one more time. F8 fast will come up so you can dry run it through your program. It shows your complete program. It gives a cycle time estimate. And that concludes our program. Thank you.